Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Today in this video we'll be making, well, repurposing these Ugg boots. And if you're interested in watching or seeing how I created these, stay tuned. All you're going to need is some glue. I ended up using Sobo glue and trim of your choice. These are um, <clears throat> just some random flat back pearls that I have and any kind of fabric you like. And we're going to be repurposing these, I don't know, they're like 10 year old boots. Okay, and a lot of chitter chatter, very long video. And hope you hang out with me in my craft room, either while you watch or you create. And I appreciate your guys' time. And stay tuned. Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm I'm a little under the weather. <clears throat> Not too bad. Not coughing that bad. I still have that crab leg on my desk. So I'm sitting here watching, um, what am I watching? Uh, Earth Bag Bedrooms. $4,650 total cost of building earth bag bedrooms, which is pretty cool. And at the same time, I am uh, giving new life to some Uggs that my mother owned for a good seven years. And then she passed them on to me, and now I have had them for, I want to say, four to five years. So they've been around for quite some time. She had them in okay condition. I mean, okay meaning less than okay. And then I have them in worse condition because I, I paint and I do housework and gardening in them. <clears throat> I would never buy these brand new. And here they are. You see all the paint and tar and they're even separating. Now these won't go in the trash until I totally kill them off. Uh, I know that uh, Uggs are, the way they're made is a, a terrible, terrible way, but I didn't purchase these. They were given to me, and at that they've been um, used. So, yeah, look at the back. But, I love them. I love wearing them. But I would never buy new ones. So, this is what I'm doing. I have it on. i got to take it off. Ooh. These aren't dry though, but I added some lace. Once it dries, I'll come back and show them to you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to do more lace up here or if just the lace down there. I'm not sure. They're quite, they're warm, but I've heard that there's another brand called Bear, something Bear, don't know what it's exactly called, that are warmer than Uggs and actually cheaper. And I don't think they're made in such a cruel way. Ah, okay, so I've got scissors. This used to be one of my old tank tops. And I like the lace a lot. And it has like color in it. And I'm going to be using Sobo glue. And then anything flat, I'm using a ruler. And this is the way I'm going to do them for my sole purpose of using uh, my Uggs. Are they going to be a forever thing? I don't, I don't think so. There's probably better glues out there to use, but I have this glue, and so that's what I'm going to use. I suggest you start on the edges. I'm just a little sick. I don't know if I'm going to get worse or this is the end of it. I mean, or this is the worst of it, as I should say. I hope it is the worst of it. I drink homemade kombucha. So I think I just might be good. I'm not sure. I usually don't get sick because 
I usually drink kombucha all year long, um, but I haven't for the past few months, so I think that's affected me. Yeah. So I'm just gonna good amount of sobo glue. I'm not f too fond of this glue at all, actually. I don't like it. Uh, some people like it. I don't like it. But it's glue, and I have it, so I'll make it work, like with everything else. And I'm just happy to even have it. So... Colorful side up, and then I'm just going to move it around. Like that, and I just start like I do everything else. Freehand it. I just, no particular way, it's whatever feels right to me. I'm going to stand up. Just so that the fabric moves smoother. I mean, freer. You can always cut, come and cut some more. But I can't add, so I'd rather be safe. And cut. Give myself some slack and then come back. fabric's not so heavy and I'm going to be able to work with it. Almost getting there. I'm gonna sit back down. Can you guys see? Yes. and putting my hand on the inside to stretch it. So if you ever see Uggs that are in decent condition on the inside, in terrible condition on the outside at a thrift store. Pick them up and reclaim them instead of them going into the trash 
believe it or not, uh, Goodwill and other uh, donation centers do actually throw away stuff. Huh? What are you doing? I am, I don't know what it's called. Redoing these. That's cute. Oh, it's cute. Oh, who knows what they'll look like when they dry. But we'll see. Just work with it and be patient. So I was saying, there's thrift. There, most thrift stores actually, if their stuff doesn't sell by a certain time, they'll send it to the outlet if they have an outlet, and then if they don't sell from there or if they have too much, they actually do throw things away into our land fields which is not good so why not try to give second life or more life to a pair of Uggs or you know what any kind of boots reality as long as they keep you warm Bear Claw I think is the other brand that are, I've heard are warmer than these. They have very cold feet. So that's why when my mom offered me these shoes, I was like, yeah, I'll take those. She'd probably freak out if she knew I still had them, but then again, she doesn't even understand how I live. She doesn't understand because she doesn't ask. I don't have that kind of relationship. But I'm, I know her more than she knows me, and I know that she would flip out. there. <clears throat> kind of want to wipe these scissors. Let me wipe them. Give them a better wipe once I'm off uh, the camera. Can you guys still see? Yeah. I'm wondering if I can use an exacto knife thing or jigger without ripping. Or tearing into anything. Let's see. Nope. So the scissors it is. So tomorrow is Tuesday and we get our results for Jackie's diagnosis. And I'll keep you guys updated on that. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add some more glue.
You need two hands to squeeze this stuff. I guess I can't talk and squeeze. Heh. I should probably try to spread mm, some of this. Let's see, let me move that in. There we go. Oh, I'm going to scratch my nose. <coughs> so I'm just shoving. Maybe I'll fix it with the glue at the same time in those spots that are opening. Spots. And I still, once it, once it dries, I'm going to come back and trim it up still a little bit more. And you know, my first thought after this was, well, if it looked messy on the edges, or if I don't like the way it looks at all once it's dry, I will glitter, glitter them completely with Mod Podge or any kind of glue actually. and glitter them. Glitter makes everything much better. Awesome. So far so good. So, what I'm watching, in, it's here on YouTube, and the family builds Bryson's Earth Bag Bedroom. It is, so far, one of my favorite uh, earth homes being built because it's a, a whole family, a wife and a husband, and their kids. And I love the kids. And I love the I love the way the husband and wife get along too. Reminds me of myself and my husband. The things that we would do. And the way we get along and work together. You guys should check it out. like I'm doing stucco or something. If this glue doesn't work with the amount of glue that I'm using, 
I will really be disappointed in this glue. Because it's a lot of glue I'm using. We're basically done. Then I'll come back and show you the end of the the end results. And plus, at the beginning of it of the video, once they're dry, I'll show the intro to what we'll be making. So that's. I like doing that so that people, um, I warn people that I talk a lot and so that they know what we'll be making instead of waiting till the end to see what it looked like. I appreciate that when I watch videos. So I'll be back once they're dry. Heh, I like them so far. I'll see you guys in about a few hours. We're all done, guys. What I ended up doing off camera <clears throat> is I gathered, I used some E6000 and some of my pearls you see back there. And basically, <clears throat> I just followed along the bottom rims and over on top. I have not yet decided what I'm going to do, if I'm even going to do anything up here, or if I'm even going to do anything here, I'm not sure. Um, I think that I'll make that decision if I were to find a fabric that calls out to me. And uh, the little dew drops that we made together out of nail polish. There's a video on that. I ended up using a few uh, here. Right here was um, some black paint I had spilt on my shoe and I covered it up with the dew drops. And I like it because these are very flexible and this part of the shoe gets flexed a lot. And I've worn these about four times already. I've given it a, quite a few hours on my feet. And they're perfectly fine. The glue dried nice and clear. It actually has a bit of a shine to it. And I really, really like them. Now I'm giving some thought about getting the pearls and giving my, uh, like, filling up the pearls all the way up like this. And around. Like that. Kind of like they do the steel toes, but with pearls. Not sure if I'm going to do that yet, but what I know, I do know what I'm going to do is grab my E6000 <clears throat> and um, randomly place a lot of these little uh, DIY dew drops that I did. Here. Randomly place it all around the boot. Um, I've washed these in the washing machine before and have thrown them in the dryer many, many times, and they come out really nice and poofy. And, uh, yeah, so it's winter time here in California, and it's pretty cold to me. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and um, these are going to be fun to wear. So I love the way they came out. If you guys give it a go, repurpose your shoes, I'd love to see some pictures. Yes, so hopefully you guys think twice before throwing those old Uggs or boots into the trash. So I'll catch you guys later. I want to say thank you for giving me your time. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for the comments. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.